Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Monday, November 29th. Four pieces of good news today. Number one, stocks are up. Number two, retailers by and large considered Black Friday a success. Number three, there's more SBA EIDL approvals, including a new major milestone in EIDL approvals. And number four, huge news if you are an entrepreneur, a sole proprietor, or a new business owner, there's a major trend going on across the country with hundreds of thousands of people starting new businesses in the past few months alone. I'll talk about all of that in this quick video. Thanks so much for subscribing and giving this video a like so other people see it. I'm gonna start with the small business news then the economic news. Shout out to everyone who's left us reviews over the past week. We're so thankful for it. Connie and Donald, thanks for the recent Trustpilot reviews. Okay, big EIDL news. You know we're monitoring approvals every single week. These are the 30-year loans up to $2 million. On the November 18th report, there were 298 total EIDL dollars approved. Last week, the big milestone crossing $300 billion in approvals. The latest number is right here, $302 billion dollars has been distributed in EIDL loans for over 3.8 million businesses. 5,000 new businesses were approved in the past week. I'm highlighting the positive things there. Many of you are still waiting for increases or reconsiderations. You have one month left until December 31st, 2021 to apply. If you want help, go to helloskip.com join or use the link in the description because it's Cyber Monday. If you book an annual premium plan, today only you will save over $500 on the annual plan. It's basically 60% off. Huge deal. If you need help for this or other small business funding, helloskip.com slash join. If you want that discount, click the link in the description. It will take you right to the annual page and show you the discount. We don't want businesses to leave money on the table. There's potentially tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands still available for you. And many of you watching have been business owners for a long time, but many of you are brand new as well. If you're part of that brand new cohort, you're part of a major trend. Workers continue to quit jobs in droves to become their own bosses. We've seen this for the past several years with the gig economy, but it is becoming more and more pronounced with a lot of those gig workers becoming more sophisticated, incorporating, starting an LLC. Here's what the Wall Street Journal reported on today. The pandemic has unleashed a historic burst in entrepreneurship and self-employment. Hundreds of thousands of Americans are striking out on their own as consultants, retailers, and small business owners. You know, many people have been trying to explain why they can't find workers for their jobs. Well, this is a major factor in it, highlighted here with more people looking for flexibility anxious about COVID exposure, upset about vaccine mandates, or simply disenchanted with pre-pandemic office life. They're choosing this path. Here are some of the statistics. The number of unincorporated self-employed workers has risen by 500,000 since the start of the pandemic. That's based on data from the Labor Department. That's the highest total since the financial crisis year of 2008. That amounts to an increase of 6% in the number of folks who are self-employed. Entrepreneurs applied for federal tax IDs to register 4.54 million new businesses from January through October this year. That's up 56% from the same period in 2019. And on the flip side, the share of US workers who work for a company with at least 1,000 employees has fallen for the first time since 2004. Again, this is the major trend towards being your own boss, being a freelance or consultant or contractor. Based on a summer 2021 survey from Upwork, they concluded that 20% of people working remotely during the pandemic were considering leaving their jobs for freelance work. Enterprises founded by women have grown by 27% and male founded ones by 17% since the pandemic started. That's according to LinkedIn data. Plus a lot of this is part of the creator economy as well, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok have provided new avenues to raise cash for aspiring entrepreneurs. Meanwhile, Robinhood markets and crypto, such as Bitcoin, have spurred a new generation of traders, some so successful that they've quit their jobs to trade. It's a great piece that points to a trend that a lot of you are aware of or are a part of. I'd love to hear what you think about this in the comments. Okay, the big stock news. Of course, the news from Black Friday was not positive because of the Omicron variant. Last Friday, it wasn't even named. Now they're calling it Omicron. The stocks really took a dive on Friday. They are back up today. Stocks rise as investors shrug off Omicron worries. 
Oil stabilizes, Moderna jumps as it's working on a new booster for the new variant. Here's a quote from the Wall Street Journal here. Friday was a panic sell-off. So I hope if you're watching, you didn't do a panic sell-off on Friday. Traders have had time to sit back and breathe a bit over the weekend, noting that trading volumes were lower over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, likely exacerbating the declines. Of course, a lot of investors are awaiting more clarity on the transmissibility and severity of Omicron. What will happen with renewed travel bans? Some countries have already started of these. Experts are saying they are better prepared. A lot of the infrastructure is in place to respond and investors have seen this so they potentially know what to expect. So to end with the fourth piece of good news today, Black Friday sales were up but they reflected the challenges facing retailers. From the New York Times, shoppers were clearly more comfortable going into stores than they were last year, but in-store visits were still well off pre-pandemic levels. So foot traffic was up about 48% from last year, still down 28% from 2019. Customers spent about $8.9 billion online on Black Friday, slightly less than in 2020, and $5.1 billion on Thanksgiving, which was on par with last year. And today, for Cyber Monday, discounts may be lower than in years past, in part because of supply chain issues issues from factory shutdowns to port backups. These have plagued retailers in recent months. Of course, there are a lot of online-only services that don't rely on the supply chain that won't be disrupted, and that includes our $500 plus discount on an annual premium subscription today only. The link right at the top of the description, if, if you want funding for yourself as an entrepreneur, sole proprietor, or for your small business, take advantage of it. It's risk-free to try out the link right at the top of the description. Thanks for tuning in today. We have a lot more great videos coming this week, plus new content up on the blog, including this post up today, self-employed versus small business owner, why the difference matters, helloskip.com slash blog to read this post about what it means to be self-employed, the pros and cons, definition, and more important information. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.